in a groundbreaking feat of technology and national pride. China has reached a momentous milestone in space exploration. A private company has launched the Gravity One rocket, earning the prestigious title of the world's mightiest solid-fueled launch vehicle. Join us in this video as we delve into this historic achievement highlighting its significance in national and global space exploration. Orion Space makes a historical milestone. In the rapidly evolving realm of global space exploration, the Chinese space program is once again capturing attention with the achievement of Orion Space, a private aerospace enterprise breaking significant barriers. Recently, they launched the world's most potent solid fuel rocket from the coast of Haiyang in Shandong province. This notable milestone underscores China's dedication to independent innovation in commercial carrier rockets. The Gravity One rocket, boasting a thrust of 600 tons, can carry a payload of 6.5 tons into near-Earth orbit, surpassing the capabilities of its European counterpart, the Vega C. With its spacious cargo compartment measuring 4.2 meters in diameter and 9 meters tall, it positions itself as a potential carrier for China's space station. As Earth witnesses the ascent of this powerhouse, the Gravity One rocket not only signifies a triumph for Chinese space technology, but also hints at the escalating competition with the United States, where SpaceX currently leads with nearly 100 reusable rocket launches annually. This achievement is particularly noteworthy considering the challenges faced by China's emerging private aerospace sector, striving to compete with giants like SpaceX, while companies like Orion Space still stand slightly dwarfed by their American counterparts. The successful launch of the Gravity One marks the dawn of a new era, challenging the long-standing dominance of traditional players in the aerospace industry. Picture a rocket capable of ferrying up to 30 satellites, each weighing 100 kg, into orbit, a capability that could revolutionize the market for batch networking launches. This remarkable flexibility firmly establishes the Gravity One as a major contender in the ongoing space race, particularly with its capability to launch satellites for the Chinese military within a mere 24 hours of receiving a request. But it's not just about sheer power. The Gravity One's design embodies innovation at its core. Bu Xiangwei, the chief designer at Orion Space, has unveiled ingenious cost-saving measures, such as a white protective cover that not only maintains the rocket's temperature, but also shields it from external elements during transportation and launch. These innovations not only enhance operational efficiency, but also underscore China's dedication to sustainable and economical space exploration endeavors. China moves closer to achieving full reusability for rockets. China moves closer to 100% reusable rockets. Imagine a scenario where space exploration is fueled by rockets utilizing methane and solid fuel, a vision rapidly transitioning into reality. Orion Space, in a strategic move to rival SpaceX, is striving to achieve liquid rocket recyclability and reusability within the next two years. This advancement could significantly reduce costs and enhance carrying capacity to 15 to 20 tons. Such a milestone is in line with China's ambitious plan to deploy a constellation of 13,000 satellites, directly challenging SpaceX's Starlink. The demand for reliable and cost-effective launch vehicles becomes paramount in this pursuit, and Orion Space emerges as a formidable player with its groundbreaking technologies. In contemplating the topic, an intriguing question arises. Could the success of the Gravity One rocket serve as a catalyst for a paradigm shift in the dynamics of the global space industry? challenging the established order dominated by the United States and its space exploration endeavors. The versatility of the Gravity One rockets are capable of launching up to 30 satellites with quick turnaround times for military satellite launches, challenges the norms set by established players. This success underscores China's commitment to independent innovation and competitive prowess in the commercial carrier rocket sector. As the global space industry witnesses the rise of China's private aerospace enterprises, the triumph of the Gravity One hints at a paradigm shift where traditional powerhouses may face intensified competition. If China continues its trajectory of innovation and accomplishes feats such as achieving liquid rocket recyclability, it has the potential to significantly alter the global space industry landscape. This could usher in a new era characterized by multipolar collaboration and competition, challenging the historical supremacy of the United States in space endeavors.
The recent advancements of companies like Orion Space and their Gravity One rocket symbolize more than mere technological achievements. They encapsulate China's ambitions to reshape the narrative surrounding space exploration. This shift entails moving away from the traditional emphasis on military and state-owned enterprises towards a more dynamic and inclusive approach that encompasses a broader range of actors and motivations. As the company shifts its focus towards making liquid rocket recycling and reusability a reality, the competition for sustainable and financially feasible space exploration heats up. How could Orion Space's achievements reshape the perception of China's space endeavors, particularly within the framework of international cooperation and alliances in space exploration? A glance at the achievements of 2023. In China's rapidly growing commercial space sector, 2023 saw significant advancements through a series of successful rocket launches. These launches highlight the industry's quick progress, driven by the necessity to reduce the high costs associated with rocket launches. Private space startups in China have been actively engaged in the development and testing of reusable rockets in line with global trends. China's successful trio of rocket launches in early December exemplifies the rapid development of its commercial space industry. For example, China's first commercial reusable rocket SQX-2Y completed its second test flight, marking a significant milestone in rocket reusability within the country. Developed by iSpace, the rocket's innovative liquid oxygen methane engine contributes to cost reduction and enables low altitude return and landing, demonstrating mastery over crucial technologies. On December 9th, the Juke 2Y3 carrier rocket made history as China's inaugural commercial liquid carrier rocket to achieve consecutive launches. This milestone underscores China's commitment to advancing medium and large sized liquid rockets that utilize liquid oxygen and methane as fuel signaling a shift toward more sustainable and cost-efficient propulsion methods. China's flourishing commercial space sector owes much to policy changes implemented in 2014, which opened up the space industry to private investment. This shift in policy spurred the emergence of numerous aerospace startups, nurturing a dynamic and competitive ecosystem. The industry's adoption of methane as a fuel, known for its cost-effectiveness and accessibility, is exemplified by land space's independent development, showcasing the viability of reusable rocket technology. This strategic move aims to optimize resource utilization and achieve greater cost efficiency in commercial space ventures. As leading entities like iSpace and Landspace continue to push boundaries, their achievements mirror a broader trend in the global space arena. The pursuit of recoverable and reusable launch vehicles the proliferation of commercial spaceflight companies focused on improving efficiency and reducing expenses aligns with the increasing market demand for satellite launches and associated services. Commercial rockets now play a pivotal role in realizing space programs, with commercial satellite firms serving as their primary clientele. The preferences and requirements of the commercial market steer the research and development endeavors of these companies fostering a mutually beneficial relationship that drives innovation within the industry. Guardian Gaiuka, a company specializing in commercial satellite technology, showcases this trend by launching satellites such as Tianqi 2124 using the Series 1 rocket. These satellites form part of the Tianqi Low Earth Orbit Internet of Things network, highlighting the role of the commercial space industry in offering global data services for various purposes. The collaborative endeavors of commercial rocket companies characterized by ongoing research, development and enhancement have resulted in standardized procedures applicable throughout the industry. This positive feedback loop is fueling the growth of commercial space travel. With the market exceeding 1 trillion yuan and boasting over 400 registered and actively operating commercial space firms in China. Notably, China has also introduced the world's most potent solid fuel rocket, further cementing its position in the global space sector. Thanks for watching.